right here we are West Quantock Head there's the pub over there here's the grounds that I'm going to walk through in a minute there's the church the St Audrey's estate it goes back a long time Essay Quam Videri and there's the stag I'm not going to do a lot with the church because I've done it before there's the old school over there look and that would have been an old inn over there it's been done up it used to be a lot more oldie worldy in fact I liked how it was in the past I always do like it when they're old it's been done up well that's where Wordsworth and Coleridge would have stopped for a pottle of ale and a lump of bread and cheese and this is the way I came when my daughter got married. I walked down this route. Last year I did it in the other way, I came the other way. But I came down here in my camper van, which was decorated in her ribbons. I uh, decorated old Berta, she looked pretty when she came to the wedding. And uh, she didn't get married in the church. She had a civil reception in the orangery. It was beautifully done out, like a little chapel, actually. And it was beautiful. It really was one of, the, well, I, one of the best weddings we've had in our family, to be quite honest. And it cost a lot of money. <laughs> and the girls looked pretty in their dresses. The, the, my son Duncan looked really smart in the suit, a lovely suit. Um, never seen him in a suit before, never seen him in one since. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was four years ago. It was in February. It was on my mother's birthday. What would have been my mother's birthday? And a couple of years later, it was the day Georgia's best friend, or she got well, one of her best friends, died in a car crash on on the A39, that road near Bridgewater. She died on that road. Her best friend and buried at Cannington. And it's like she said, I don't know many people who've had a birth, a wedding, and a death on the same date. Not exact date, not the same year, but 20th of February. My mum was born 20th of February, 1912. Georgia was married 20th of February, 2015. And I got a feeling her friend died. February the 20th it wasn't last year it was, it was a year before 2017 Kate died didn't die straight away but anyway here we have a lovely little church here I have videoed it before. It's a beautiful church and it's lovely and calm and cool. Lovely and cool. I'm hoping it'll turn out better. I adjusted the cut, um, the light on the camera because when I did um, a church the other day at Brent Knoll, it came out all black. Somehow the lighting had changed. And I had a similar old camera years ago that played up. I'm not going to try and put the lights on in here, but uh, we just have a quick look at around while we're here. This church in St. Audrey's also reminds me of my mum and a dear family friend, Edward Glowacki, a Polish man who fought in the war for Poland and for... I think he might have been England, but he was put in two concentration camps, one by the Germans and one by the Russians. Um, he saw some terrible things. He told me a few stories when I was a little girl. He was a religious man. He was Roman Catholic. <sighs> he loved my mum, I know that. They were very good friends. And he lost... A lot of his family were probably put in camps and killed um, what else um, 
Yeah, so I come in churches. I'm allowed to talk out loud when I'm in here. I have places of peace, that's what I think, and calm and cool. Very cool. Over and out.